No friends, no family. Meghan and Harry's celeb peer stitched couple out of circle of A-list stars. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been warned by a royal commentator that their celebrity friends could turn their back on them. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been told to enjoy their celebrity friends wanting to attach themselves to the Sussexes by NBC royal correspondent Neil Sean. He claimed that celebrities are fickle and would not pass up an opportunity to perform for the royal family or visit the palace. Speaking on his YouTube channel, he said, What I think William and Harry are both going to learn the hard way moving forward is this, celebrities are very fickle. They will attach themselves to whoever at the right time. We know that Prince Harry and John Bon Jovi got on well because they also recorded a charity single together at the famous Abbey Road Studios. William and John Bon Jovi also got on well but it's difficult when there's a family feud. Who do you take the side with? A lot of people are speculating where this will lead moving further down the line with all sorts of friends associated with both Harry and William. A lot of people put their money on the fact that there's only going to be one king in the future and that king will be William. Knowing celebrities as I do, I think Prince Harry should enjoy the moment of those people wanting to attach themselves to both him and Meghan Markle because moving forward I can see the celebrities given an opportunity to perform in front of royalty will definitely take that over some hotel in the middle of Manhattan. It was noted Prince Harry and Meghan Markle intend to rise above other A-list peers in an attempt to position themselves alongside the creme of the crop after the NYC visit. A royal source brought this claim to light and during their interview with the publisher, the insider shed some light on the reality of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's eyebrow-raising New York visit. They were quoted saying, There were a lot of raised eyebrows in New York, and in Hollywood, too. A lot of people think that Meghan and Harry are trying to position themselves above most of their A-list peers. They seem to want to bask in their old royal status and enjoy all the attention and benefits that go with that, which is a turnoff for a lot of people. This revelation has come shortly after news of Prince Harry's declining UK popularity made mainstream media. Recent YouGov polls indicate the prince has gone from a prior 43% approval rating to 34%. Even Meghan Markle's also suffered a major drop, going from 29% to 26%. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been called for speaking about their time as senior royals, flying to New York for the weekend and signing multi-million dollar deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify. Mr. Sean has claimed the couple cannot afford bad PR. He claimed, on a serious note, I do think Harry and Meghan do need seriously think about where they're going to go with their brand moving forward. They can't afford such bad PR which is relentless. We're talking about the birthday video, the bench book, the New York trip. A lot of people say, you were contributing to that. I would say I'm just supporting the facts, a lot of these things were not successful. The pair have been accused of confusing the public with royal visits. Harry and Meghan went to New York to attend the Global Citizen Live concert in Central Park at the end of September. While in the city, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex also met with New York Mayor Bill de Blasio and Governor Kathy Hochul. Mr. Sean has warned the couple of scheduling conflicts with the royal family if they were to travel to the same places the royal family.